Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 Minecraft mods of July. Most of these mods are not as famous as the big ones you usually see in videos like this, so I'm pretty sure you probably haven't heard of many of them yet. Anyways, let's get into the video. The first mod I have for you guys today is the Infinity Stones and Powers mod. The mod has currently only 2000 downloads, but I think it is truly underrated. The mod introduces the well-known Infinity Stones from the Marvel's Avengers series to the game. You can combine these stones with the Infinity Gauntlet to obtain a bunch of new abilities like switching between dimensions, cloning mobs and shooting explosions. You can stop or fast forward time. If you combine those stones, you can even erase half the mobs around you simply by right clicking. The second mod is Minecraft Transit Railway and this mod is truly mind-blowing. The mod adds a completely automatic train system as well as a boat system and cable cards to the game. Furthermore, there are working escalators, elevators and even a ticketing system for the trains. There are working passenger information panels for the train stations which actually display in how many seconds a train will arrive. Additionally, there's a large variety of blocks you can use for building your realistic train station like trash cans, a ticket shop, ticket processors, ticket barriers and even customizable route signs which show your actual route network with your own stations. And as I already indicated, all of this is customizable. You can name your own train stations, change the routes, switch the frequency and so much more. I highly recommend for you to try it out. The third mod on our list is Mutant Wolf. The mod includes a new mini boss called Mutant Wolf, which has 75 hearts and deals 10 damage per hit. The mob drops bones, gold and there is a rare chance of getting a special mutant wolf armor, which is better than netherite armor. You can summon the boss by killing a wolf while holding a bone in your hand. Our next mod is Alcocraft and this mod is a perfect addition for everybody playing with a vanilla styled mod pack out there. The mod adds a new plant called Hop as well as a new mechanic to brew and drink alcoholic beverages. There are 12 types of drinks available, which will give you a variety of effects. What I especially like about the mod is its simplicity, as well as the blocks and items which are designed in a way that fits perfectly into vanilla Minecraft. I personally will definitely include this mod in my next survival world. Next I have for you guys the Gold Rush mod. The mod adds a bunch of new possible uses for gold as well as ways to obtain it. You can now find sand with gold underwater. Furthermore, you are able to craft a few new blocks like golden blocks and glass panes. Finally, the biggest feature added by the mod is a golden golem mob, which can be crafted using gold and which will fight zombies, skeletons and spiders for you. Another mod on our list is the Young's Better Desert Temples mod. This mod was just released one month ago and it is really amazing because it overhauls the existing desert temples and makes them much more interesting and exciting to explore. The temples include now a variety of new puzzles, traps and parkour challenges. Moreover, the loot you'll find there is also much better than before. Next we have the Augur's community mod. The mod adds a new mob called Augur, as well as tents in which this mob spawns into your world. These mobs are passive, so they won't attack you unless you attack them. They drop skin and bones, with which you can craft special tools and armor. Our next mod is the Pretty Beaches mod. This mod adjusts water physics when digging sand near water in an attempt to prevent ugly appearances of flowing water. So if you are digging sand near water, you don't have to worry about ruining the whole environment anymore. When sand is broken next to water, instead of becoming flowing water, it becomes a full source block. I honestly think this should be a feature in vanilla Minecraft. The ranged wireless redstone mod is a pretty simple mod that adds a wireless redstone transmitter and receiver allowing redstone signals to be transmitted wirelessly. I often wished for this feature in vanilla Minecraft while playing survival. So if you share this wish, I recommend you try this mod out. The last mod on our list is the Hexit Gear 2 mod. The mod brings back the gear of the Hexit mod pack for the newer Minecraft versions. Included is the Scale Armor, Tribal Armor, Thief Armor and Sage Armor, which will grant you different effects while you are wearing them. The mod also adds the plant as well as the items you need to craft armor. This is it for this video. If you want me to include any specific mods in upcoming videos, feel free to write a comment. 
Anyways, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos like this in the future, feel free to leave a like, comment or subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.